on, come on. Hey guys, go, go. Crazy down here, back again, playing um, Uncharted 3, Drake's Inception. If you haven't seen the previous videos, um, watch them now, otherwise it's going to be a bit blah, 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 what is going on. So, we're going to be... Okay, I'm going to be... You better tickle mine too, because now I gotta catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. Do a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going okay. to hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So Nathan and um Nathan Drake has had that big rub on it all business. this time. Jeez. Sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician who navigated. Way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously, into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original, the original 007. 007. See, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Orson. Great, but Great. what for? What for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, a great film, he was an archaeologist. <laughs> and even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history, everything to do with knights and crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Oh, a city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. The more important part, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission for the first time, why was he actually on I mean, it looks like he went to a world of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. And there's still those in this as well? I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues, Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Symbols here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Looks like Sabian script. script. Right. right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, no more. How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it would be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Oh. I think you should find the chair. Here's the line, the I, line guess. I guess. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? What? 
Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Is this should be this no, way. I can't. no, it's not. Definitely not. Not too far. Not too far. Come on, come on. Not too not far. Too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. By the time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over. I was Christine Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. Besides, I got you out, didn't I? Always get you out. Come on, through here. Here it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in myself. Oh, of course, I don't remember no. this ravine being on the map. Ah, then we just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Hey, is that a pan flute? That's actually real. Um. This way. This way. Watch your step. Oh, jeez. I I bought a few of them. Sure, in the right place. Doesn't seem old. Crusade castles. It's more like Renaissance. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? Now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. To be bonus, hasn't it? Oh, he's jumping down here. No, so heading in here, we're gonna go across there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this looks sketchy. Ooh. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh. Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Jesus. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn Iron. Pretty taggy. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. This According to Lawrence, castle? all that's left of the original castle is the square keep in the gardens. If Godfrey this brought any secrets back from Arabia, gigantic, gigantic, that's where we're going to find it. Giant mansion. Try this door. Ah. It's no good? Not getting in this way. I bet I can climb up through that hole. Let me guess. Gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. All right, don't burn the place down. So, how to get up? Don't mind that little Rogan. He's just following me around everywhere I go. Getting in this way. <laughs> what about that window above? Hey, don't want to cut myself. Really cool. 